today we're going to be taking a look at the highest rated gaming chair on Amazon, and it's the Homol Racing Style Gaming Chair. So I got this chair to replace like my old chair that was kind of just a piece of crap and like wasn't really making my back feel good and all that. And so far I've been really impressed with this one here. You know, it's got this top pillow right here, and it's got this bottom pillow here, and it's adjustable in a lot of different ways that help you get really comfortable. And I've, you know, kind of noticed a difference with my back and everything and how good it feels when I'm sitting in this chair. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this is the highest rated gaming chair on Amazon right now, beating out chairs like the DX Racer and other similar brands. So, like, for this price at $90, I think it was, or $99 or something like that, I think it's $90, whatever it is, it's still a bargain, like, compared to $300 for a DX Racer or something else like that. I'm guessing you saw the wheels, so you probably know that this chair moves front and back. Um, just like any other chair, you can move it at 360. There's height adjustment, so you can move it up and down to match your height. And then there's a tilt feature where you can, you know, tilt it back by holding onto this lever and then, you know, tilt it forward. And it goes pretty far back. You can lay pretty much 90 degrees and then it kind of takes a beating. You know, you can, you can let it hit your back pretty hard and it's fine. As I said, this chair does have two pillows, and yes, they are removable. All you have to do is go to the back side and uh, go to the clips and, you know, unclip them, and then get the little belt thing, the little elastic band off the chair, like I can show you right here, and it's really simple, and if you don't want the pillows, you don't have to have the pillows. So as you can see here, uh, this chair is, you know, plenty tall right now I have it at the maximum height right now and I can still push it completely under my desk right here so that shouldn't be an issue for anybody um, my desk is pretty tall I guess if you have a little bit taller desk it might not fit because there is just a little bit of space but if you're looking to slide under your desk like I said it should work with about everything okay so I'm gonna go over some of the pros and cons here um, the pros are you know it's got a great price um, you're getting a great value for what you're paying for you know you're paying $90 for a gaming chair that is really highly rated and pretty much beats out or matches, or probably not beats out, but definitely matches, you know, a DX Racer or a um, GT Racing C or something similar like that. Um, another pro is, you know, it's comfortable. It honestly is comfortable. It's going to make your back feel good. It's going to make, you know, your gaming experience a little bit better. You're going to be a little bit more comfortable than maybe sitting in like a cheap chair that you've had for a long time or whatever. Um, one more pro is that it just looks cool. Like, this is a good looking chair. I mean, it matches like your setup. If your setup's black and white, you can get other colors like black and blue, black and red. You know, just a bunch of different stuff to match your gaming setup and make it look cool. Okay, so now for the cons. Um, to be honest, I can't really think of any. Um, maybe one con is uh, the fake leather. If you're big into like having real leather, then I guess that could be like a little bit of a problem for you. But for me, I don't really mind the fake leather. It's just a seat. You know, it's still comfortable. Another con is it's a little bit challenging to put together. Um, and the, the directions put together are a little bit challenging because they're kind of vague. But they're like, if you just put a little bit of effort into it, you'll be able to figure it out. And it's, you know, not really that hard. It's just a little bit challenging. Going to take a little bit of effort and time. Okay, just some final impressions. You know, if you're looking for a gaming chair and you're not trying to break the bank, and you want something that's comfortable, it's going to make your um, gaming experience more fun, I guess, more comfortable and all that, go ahead and buy this chair. I mean, you can't really beat it for the price. Don't buy a DX Racer. Don't buy a GT Racing seat. Just go buy something like this that is, you know, a little bit lower price, might not have as many features, might not be quite as comfortable, but you're going to be paying, you know, 200 less dollars for a almost the same exact experience. Like, it's going to be pretty much the same. So... That's all I have to say for this chair. I've enjoyed it so far, but um, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video.